Good evening, Miguel Angel. Good evening, Raynan. How are you? Teacher Van Hacha. Good evening, Noel. How are you? Good evening, Daniel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Me puedo mandar unas preguntas que fíjese que he tratado de contestar, pero no puedo de la plataforma. Ah, ok. Yes, no problem. Um, someone told me the same before, and it seems to be a problem with, um, with the test. I mean, Sometimes the answers are correct, but there is a problem with the space or with the period or with the letter, right? But tell me, go ahead. Are you going to send the questions here in WhatsApp or or, or in Zoom? Um, um, no sé, en WhatsApp o Zoom, no importa. Okay, as you prefer it, no problem. Um, sería la voy a escribir ok, that's ok solo, on, solo son dos la verdad que yo traté de muchas formas y no me da 
Don't worry. Don't worry. It happens. Oh my goodness, we are watching Caso Cerrado. <laughs> Let me know whenever you're ready, okay? We are just waiting for your partners to join the class. Oh, I can see Jill also as well here. Good evening, Jill. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Great. Okay, let's see the questions here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, one second. One quick second. I'm going to help you with that right now. Give me a quick second here. One. I already have the answers right here. Give me just one quick second. Mm -hmm. What is the possible answer that you consider it's the correct one, Daniel? Hello, hello? Daniel, Daniel. Sorry. Okay. Um, according, according to you, what's the correct answer? Would it need to be better to re re revise, revise the manual? Revise the manual before pleading and question. Mm -hmm. And the question mark, that is actually the correct. That's a number two, right? Yep. So it's supposed to be like this one like that exactly like that one and the number five you said right one, two three four five this one the number five is this one if you see there is a there is a space between the side and the question mark please um copy and paste the answer exactly like that and it will help it will let you continue yes tengo a space espacio and the site but what about but a, try try to copy the answer exactly like copy paste it should work okay voy a, voy a tratar. Gracias. all right excellent so well everybody else thank you very much for joining the class i really uh, want to say thank you very much for being here on time i truly appreciate your punctuality right uh, we are going to start right now with the first activity. I'm happy to see that many people tonight, it's going to be able to participate. I only see here 
two listeners, which are Mr. Pardo and Reina. Then everybody else says here that are going to be able to participate. So great, thank you, all right? So let's continue right now. So let's see, as every day, remember that I love actually starting the class with one of those tongue twisters, which are easier, right? But important for you to develop your pronunciation and influence you, of course, right? So this is easy, easy, easy piece of cake, right? Easy piece, lemon squeezy. So it says, you know, New York, you need New York, you know, you need unique New York, right? So the only difference right here, it's this one. Remember, this is you know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. That's exactly how you go it, and you're going to pronounce it, right? And you have to do it faster, like, you know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York, like that, easy, all right? So let's see, do I have any volunteer for practicing it right now? It's easy, uh-huh, who's gonna be my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's do something, I will give you, okay, excellent, Miguel, so go ahead, please. Teacher, can you repeat, please? Uh, unique, 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 unique. Yes, Miguel, we cannot hear you. I don't know what happens if there is a problem with the microphone. Hello, Miguel. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, uh, you know New York. You need New York, you know you need unique New York. Excellent, like that one. Easy, 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 right? So very good job on that one. All right, thank you very much. Excellent. Next one, next one, next one. Mm -hmm. All right, who was that? Nuria, right? Yes. Okay, Nuria, good evening. Please continue. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. Easy, thank you, good job as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next one, next one, next one. Edwin Esau, very good. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. Excellent, thank you very much, I like it. So I have also Daniel, all right? So thank you, Edwin, good job. All right, so Daniel, go ahead. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique new york excellent thank you very much good job thank you that's easy uh -huh. what about the rest let's see evelyn jill catherine noe ursula mm -hmm. Me teacher. okay go ahead noe you, you know new york you need new york you know you need Unique New York. Excellent. Thank you very much that, for that one. Now, let's see, Jill, it's your turn. Okay. You know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Excellent. Thank you very much. I like it. I like it. So, our next volunteer is Evelyn. All right, Evelyn, go ahead. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique you know, New York. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right? Super nice. I can see also Catherine. Thank you guys. Volunteers tonight. I like it. I like it. Good, good, good. Catherine, go ahead. Okay. You know New, new York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. Unique New York. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So who's missing? Ursula is missing. Ursula, would you be able to participate or are you going to be a listener tonight? Um, I'm going to participate. Good All evening. Right. Good evening. Go ahead. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need, you need New York. Excellent. Thank you very much. I like it. All right. So thank you and thank you for participating. All right. Everybody else, that was our first um activity right so super easy it's an easy tongue twister to start the class to break the ice right and to practice 
the pronunciation here, all right? So let's just continue right now with the first, also the second activity here, sorry, which is a review. All right, so remember that in our reviews, we like to uh, as well practice previous information that we studied, right? So trying to understand exactly the meanings here, all right? So now I want to analyze this one here, all right? So what is going to be in, and try to match the words with the definition that you see on the other side of the screen right there, all right? So uh, before we go and match it, let's just read it. I need a volunteer who can help me to read number one. Volunteer, volunteer for reading? Me, teacher. Thank you very much. Please continue. It's a measure of how well an, an, an item mm -hmm. service or experience needs or super superpass is in inherent purpose or or expectations. Thank you very much, Daniel, for participating, right? This is simple right here. So let's review the pronunciation of the words that I underlined there, all right? So the first one here is measure. Repeat it, my friend. Measure. Excellent, all right? So remember what is measure, people? Medida. Medida or medir, all right? So very good. Then, uh, Daniel, repeat it with me. Service. Service. Remember it. Service. Yeah, service. 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 All right. Yo siempre digo service. Exactly. All right. So then we have this one. Surpasses. Repeat it. Surpasses. Surpasses. There you go. In this one right here, intended. Intended. There you go. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much, Daniel, for helping me with those words. All right. Who can help me to read number two? Yes. Thank you, Miguel. Nuria, you go with number three, all right? Okay, it's it's plans, measures, analysis, and reports on quality. Hey, thank you. You did a good job with the pronunciation. Good job on this. Thank you, all right? Nuria, you go now. Okay, the progressive attempt to support a process, honesty, and safe, safety in delivering an outcome. An outcome, all right? So thank you very much. So Nuria, help me with the pronunciation of the first word right here. This one, repeat it, safety. Safety. Good job, right? Now this one right here, outcome. Outcome. Exactly, good job. Thank you very much, right? What do you for number four? Who is it? Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. All right, Ursula, number four, <laughs> and the other person I couldn't see it. Evelyn, right? Yes. All right, number five, Evelyn. Okay, okay. number four, Ursula, go ahead. Okay. It consists of four essential elements, quality planning, quality improvement, quality control, quality assurance. Good job. I liked it, right? So super good. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn, please go ahead. It can help your business increase productivity, productivity and prof, profitability by evaluate, evaluate, I lo siento. No worries, no worries, evaluating. Evaluating your products and service. Services, all right, yeah, excellent. Thank you, thank you, and don't worry, right? No worries, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just this one right here. It can help your business increase. Repeat it. Increase. Excellent. Productivity and profitability by evaluating. Repeat it. Evaluating. Excellent, all right? Your products and services. Services. Thank you very much, all right? And that happens, uh, you pronounce this one services because it's plural, right? So thank you everybody who helped me uh, with those um, definitions, right? So now it's time for you to tell me which one it's gonna be the correct one right here. So the first one, which is survey. What is survey people? One, two, three, four, or five? Number one. Number one. 
it's like this. Yes or yes? Yes. All right. So, are you sure, people? Hello? <laughs> yes, it's absolutely right. All right. Thank you. What is quality management? Number quality. four. Number four. It consists in four element session elements. All right. That's the one. Very good. So what about number the like quality department? What is it? Hmm. Number two. This one right here. Okay. In quality. Number five. Number five. Uh huh. In quality control. Number three. Number three. Now, let me ask you something right here. Are you sure about all of them or you want to make some changes? Mm -hmm. It's everything clear or you want to make some changes there? Hello, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> what happened? Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat the question, please? Of course. I was asking you if, are you sure about the answers or do you really want to uh, make a change? On the possible answers. Están completamente seguros que así quedan? ¿Quieren hacerle algún cambio? I think it's okay, teacher. Eh, are you me. sure? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. What is a survey? Is the evaluation. Uh -huh. An evaluation. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Uh -huh. I don't know. Hmm. We will see here right now, okay? Take a look at this one. The information is in the WhatsApp group, people, from the last class. Take a look. Okay, take a look to this one. It says quality. Uh -huh -huh. Pay attention to this one right here. So, this is quality. Okay. So then, let's go back to the, to the um, class. It says this one. So, which one is quality? Then. Quality, which one is it? Quality is number one. Yay, that's correct. That's quality, number one. Very good. What is quality management? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number four. Do you see this one right here? Quality management or essential elements. All right, so we go back to this one right here. And it says, number one, it says it is this one. Yeah, number two. Oops. Uh -huh. Number four. Okay, great. So. Quality is number one. 
and quality, quality management control. number four, right? Yeah. Okay. What is a survey then? The number three. Number three. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. So let's go back quality to this control. one. Quality, yeah, number quality number control. Quality control. Number three. Quality control. The progressive attempt to support process and safety in a delivering outcome. Yay! So. One more time here, it will be then. So we have here. Um, what's this one? Quality number one. Uh, what was the other one? Quality management number four. What was the other one? Quality control? Number three. Number three. Okay. What is quality department? Mm hmm. What is quality department? The number two. Yeah, two. that's correct. All right, so in the last one, it's going to be survey. Excuse me, I made a mistake right here. Yes. And this one, it's this one right here. Yes or no? Because it says here, it, the survey evaluates, right? That's actually what happens right here. Okay, great, awesome. So do you have questions about the vocabulary or the things that we are reviewing right now? Yes, no questions? Hello, hello. In the number five is the pronunciation is okay and profitability. Profitability, yes. Yeah. What's like, mean? It's uh, like, like uh, for example, just talking about like las ganancias. You got it? Okay. Yes, I got it. Okay, great, excellent. Any other question about pronunciation or vocabulary? Hmm? No, teacher. No? All right, excellent. Eh, solo para que quede claro, right? So it's going to be like profitability, sería como like, um, how do you say this one? Rentabilidad, that's the word. All right? Que tan okay. rentables, a company, or like, according to las ganancias, of course, right? Okay, great, excellent. I'm just going to send this right now to the WhatsApp group so you can have it there. Oops, one second. There you go. Check the information that we sent to the WhatsApp group, my friends, because it can help you with the previous words. Oops, oops. Okay. Okay, so the information has been sent. So now let's just continue with that next activity. And thank you for uh, to the ones who participated here, all right? So let's see. Now let's just continue with this one, all right? So vocabulary, 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 all right? So let's just go right now to our first activity. And what you guys have to do, according to this one, it's this, all right? Who can help me to read this definition, my friends? All right, this instruction, I'm sorry. Who can help me to read that instruction? What's the instruction? Use a dictionary to find the main name of the word below. Exactly. So it says use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. Thank you very much for that one, Daniel. So basically what this is telling you guys, it's that you are going to be working in the breakout rooms in groups, right? And you're going to give a definition in English, no translation into Spanish, a definition in English to the words that you see there. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay, excellent. So let me create the rooms now and I'm gonna be just confirming, right? If you can actually, um, let's see here. Continue this one, veamos. Let's see, Mr. Carlos Rivas, are you there? 
Carlos Rivas. Yes, teacher. Good All evening. Right. Good evening. Are you going to participate in the activities? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Jill Menjivar. Yes, teacher. Would you be able to participate? Yes. Thank you. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Hi, teacher. Uh, would you be able to participate? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Catherine. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Yamilet. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sonia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes. All right, great. Nuria. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Ursula. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Um, Edwin Esaú. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Luna, he says, listen here. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's see this one. Uh, Eduardo Flores. Yes, teacher. Okay, great, excellent. Okay, this is what we are going to be doing right here, all right? So I'm going to be just moving some of the listeners so they can participate here. And then this one. Daniel and Miguel Santos, you say yes, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I have accommodated the rooms in, in a way that everybody can participate in practice. So I remember, you are going to use a dictionary in English. I can share some links right now in the WhatsApp group just for you to find a definition in some online dictionaries. Or you can use any other dictionary that is going to be easier for you. Remember, no Spanish. It has to be a definition in English. All right. So everybody, access to your rooms. Okay. okay. Uh, container package device or vending machine for holding and dispensing something in a small amount okay. as facial tissue, 
um, paper cups or candy. Uh, a paper towel dispenser, for example. Okay. And second, yes, dirt, dirt. Mm -hmm. In case you have questions, mm -hmm. I'm here, okay. Thanks. Dear. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dear. Any fall or filthy substance, a small grind, dust. Or excrement. What is it? No clean. Mm. No clean. Sí, como es sucio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hair or soils. No, number one. Any fall or filth, fil filthy sus substance. A small grind dust. Substance, a small grind, dust, or excrement. Okay. Okay. Fall or filthy. Filthy. Substance. A small grind, dust. Okay, number three. The same. Is correct, teacher? The same. The same, the which one you said? Number three. Designated. Des designated. Correct. Okay. Designated. Designated. Hmm. Responding to three in a two analogic or family of the analogies. I will see the name of it. Teacher, are it those definitions? In English, good evening. I mean, good time. <laughs> uh huh, two definitions. Um, me perdí, permítame. Me costó ese número. Definitions and synonyms. Definitions and synonyms. Synonyms is going to be like synonyms. another word. Eso sería como otra palabra similar, pero queremos una definición. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Miss only 
lanjutin logic means logic of a truth value corresponding to truth in a true value logic or having one of the anal anal analogous analog analogies values in many analogies ¿Cuál sería esa? Eh, solamente hay una definición. Mm. In Carlos, what happens with Carlos? Carlos, are you driving, eating, or what happened? Mm. Responding. Mm. Okay, guys, I will go to a different room just to verify what happens, and then if you have questions, let me know. Okay, okay, okay. Just... Just... Teacher. You finished? No, teacher. Not Do you yet. have any questions? No. So, you finished? No, no, yet. No, okay. So, no problem. I will be here just for a moment. In case you have questions, you can ask me, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. And this in... Designated is um, uh, uh -huh. what happens? Asignar oficialmente un estatus específico. In, in <laughs> is officially as assigned a specific. I don't know how to say specific in English. Specifically? Mm, specifically. Sorry. Yeah, specifically. Specifically, status or ascribe um, name or validity to. Mm -hmm. That's the one you have for designated. Another, it will be to 
officially choose someone or something to do or be something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's basically someone who was chosen officially to do a particular job. You know, simple. To be like this one. And the sink. Mm -hmm. sink. This on this in, in Spanish. Sink. Mm -hmm. What is it? Sink. What is it? Hundir. That's correct. But in this context, actually, it's a different thing. Mm -hmm. It will be caer. Mm -mm. It's not a verb. Excuse me. Es un objeto de la cocina. Ok. I will go to a different room and see cómo van y luego les digo, ok? Ok, yes. Yes. Thank you. Good evening, ladies. You finished? Yes, teacher. Great, excellent. Yes, teacher. So, just checking. We are going to go back to the main session right now so we can share the definitions, okay? Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, everybody, welcome back, All right? So we are going to continue right now, like sharing the definitions that you were able to find in the different dictionaries that I sent, right? So something that I have to tell you, it's that you need to remember that the words don't have only one definition. They can have different definitions, right? So for example, um, if you want to say, yo quiero tomar 
agua. How do you say that in English? Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? I have to drink of water. No, if you say it like, I want to drink water, or I want to drink water, right? And how do you say, yo riego las plantas todos los días? Mm -hmm. How do you say, yo riego las plantas todos los días, my friends? I water the plants. I water the plants. Thank you, Ursula. That is actually correct. And why am I asking you those examples? Because I want you to understand that the word water in English can have different meanings. Can mean water, like the liquid you drink, right? Or it can be the action of adding water to a plant, for example, right? So the same happens with the words we have right here. Okay, I need a volunteer who can help me with the number one, my for the one that says dispenser. Give me a definition. What is a dispenser? Uh huh. What's a dispenser? Um, I, I found um, it's an automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount or something. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Ursula. Can you please repeat it again? Because it was like a problem with the connection there. Uh, an automatic machine or container which is designed to no, release no, 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 no. a amount or something. Thank you very much. All right. So basically, you said that is a machine. Yes or no? Um, yes. All right. So it, it's the dispenser. It's it's a machine that says that 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 gives you what? Mm -hmm. Sorry. What yeah. kind of product do you get from that machine? Ah, for example, uh, paper, towels, mm -hmm. and money. Yes, of course, right. So thank you, Ursula, for that one. So let me just show you this okay. one right here. Take a look. You see, this is a dispenser, right? So the most common word associated with dispensers, it's going to be this one that gives you the water. But you also have a other type of dispensers, right? Like, for example, if you want to say like um, toilet roll dispenser, for example, and you get something like that. Have you seen them in the restaurants, people? Yes. All right, so yes. you get like this one or? Really, really open. I seen that eso dispenser that I only is. <laughs> yeah, the one for the toilet paper or for the water? The paper. The paper, all right? So we have this ones. Esos son bien comunes ahora, right? In every, well, in every, uh, company every place you go every restaurant you go they also have um you know one of those they can actually clean your hands right estos son otro tipo de dispensador right? so that's a different thing all right so let's check on this one here so thank you ursula for sharing that information so now i want to go with the number two number two dirt what is it my friends Give me a definition. What is it? Yes. Any volunteer? Nuria, I will let me see. Nuria, let me see. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Nuria, go ahead and tell me what do you have. There a substance, such or a smooth or dust that solves someone or something. All right, excellent. So, very good. Can, do, can you do me a favor? Can you repeat it one more time? A, a substance such as smooth or dust that soils someone or something. Thank you very much. All right, so that's actually what that means. All right, so uh, when you come to this one right here, right, so 
dirt, all right? So it's actually a noun, all right? So we are talking about like something like the opposite of clean, right? That is absolutely the opposite of clean, all right? That's why it says dust, soil, or any substance that makes a surface not clean, all right? Thank you very much on that one. So we are going to continue with the next one right here. Okay, so dirt. let's see. Mm, Who said me? Teacher. Yes. Dirt es como algo sucio. It's actually suciedad. Mm -hmm. All right, so like this. For first I say que puede ser el, um, like this one, take a look. All right, it says like one of those right there. All right, so, and I have a question for you. For example, what is soil? Mm -hmm. The word soil, it means el suelo. Soil, suelo. What is, uh, what's the other one that is this case? Dust. That's polvo. For example, right? Or any substance that uh, makes a surface not clean, right? So, um, okay, so like this one, anything else? What about number four? I mean, number three, excuse me. Number three, number three? Designated. Mm -hmm. Uh, any is... volunteer for designated? No, so it's not correct, but it's uh, designated to choose someone officially to do a particular job. Okay. You know, that definition is actually okay. But like, sería para ver por designate, que sería este. Designate. That's the definition for that one. Pero este es un adjetivo que es designado. Entonces, how would you actually say this one? All right. So it would be like someone. All right. Someone who was chosen. Officially to do a particular job like this one. All right. Someone who was chosen officially to do a particular job. All right. So una persona designada. That's actually what it means. All right, and the definition, for example, Daniel, that you gave me, it's designar, so the action. All right, so we have designate and then designated, which is the adjective. Thank you. What about sink? Mm -hmm. What is sink? please, because yes, it is that, but not in this context. Uh huh. What is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, go down below the surface of something, especially of a liquid become submerged. Mm -mm. That's no, I mean, that is correct as a verb, as a verb, as a the verb hundir. That's correct. But in this context, it's a different thing. It's part of your kitchen. It's where you wash when, when you wash the things when you do the dishes what is it um, I, I found a bowl shape plumbing fixture for washing hands this washing and other purpose that is correct a bowl that is attached to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom in which you wash dishes or your hands, right? In the context of the restaurant, sería como un eh, lavatrastes. En el contexto del, del bathroom, sería como el lavamanos, right? Understand? Yes. Thank you. And the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one there, my friends. All right, excellent. Wait, so to begin to... with, what is the pronunciation? Hmm? I have a question. Teacher. Totally, yes. Uh huh. Tell me, what's your question? The number four sink is como un fregadero. Un fregadero, un lavamanos, un lavatrastos. 
You, however you want to call it. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one right here, my friends, it's the next word right here. Thirdly, 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 which it means what? I gave you the definition in Spanish, but what's the definition in English? I found teacher completely, very much, or carefully, All right. in a it's... way that includes many de details. Correct. To do something in a detailed and careful way. All right. That's basically a, the definitions right there. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So now, yeah. se pudieron dar cuenta, hay palabras que... Um, Cuando uno las ingresa al dictionary o al translator, tienen un significado ya específico que es quizá el más común, right? Pero el significado, it depends on the context, right? So, for example, creo que el ejemplo más claro aquí sería eh, this one. Yeah, this sink. Why sink, right? So, usted automáticamente eh, type sink on the translator or the dictionary y lo asocia con el verbo hundirse, right? But in this context, it's the place when you wash the things in the kitchen, right? So, entonces, depending on the context. Remember that currently, we are talking about restaurants, right? So, that's the reason why you are going to have a, this context here, all right? So, now, let me ask you, do you have questions? Mm -hmm. No. No questions. Okay. So let me share this right now with you so you can keep it, right? Okay. There you have it. All right, excellent. So now let's just continue with the next activity here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, excellent. So now we are going to talk about the checklist. All right. So everybody, do you know what is a checklist? Yes or no? All right, excellent. Yeah. So have you ever seen any checklist? No, I think No? Yes. Okay, excellent. So the checklist, it's like, the one that you can see here, right? So when you have a lot of activities, like you write them here, and then you check them to see if you did it or not, all right? So that's basically a checklist. So we have this definition right here that says that a checklist, it's a management tool that lists different tasks, activities, and behaviors that needed, sorry, that need to be followed to achieve a systematic result, all right? Who can help me to repeat this paragraph? people like reading reading me teacher mr luna good evening go ahead hi okay good evening um, what is a checklist a checklist is a management tool that lists different tasks activities and behaviors that need to be followed to achieve a systematic result thank you very much excellent so hey do you have any questions about vocabulary Mm -hmm. what um, behaviors tasks? oh behaviors okay um uh, here all right have you ever um, heard the verb behave mr luna behave. No? yes but i have for the the meaning can you no give me worry. an example in, in okay for example a, a when, when when you were when you were a little kid and you were at the supermarket with your mother and you were asking for something to your mother and she was like, um, Wilfredo, please behave. You know? You kind of get the concept. Mm -hmm. Or when, you were, when so, you were at the school and your teachers were telling you, you need to behave correctly. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, it's about the uh, <laughs> como el comportamiento. That is, ex that is exactly the word behaviors. The, the, the meaning. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. All right. Okay. It's, Thank you, teacher. Fine. You're welcome. All right. So, uh -huh. any other one? Okay. Hello? There you go. Okay. So number one, so we can continue with the next one right here. So what's this one? It's the following, all right? That is a checklist. Remember, checklist is a management tool that lists different tasks, activities, and behaviors, right? That need to be followed to achieve a systematic result, all right? Report, important right here, achieve. What is achieve? To get successful. To get success, right? Exactly, right? Lograr alcanzar. Thank you very much for not using Spanish. All right, so let's see. Let's continue on this one right here. And uh, let's see this one. What is a checklist used for? All right, that's the next activity here. And it says that checklists have the objective of overseeing tasks or projects and ensuring nothing important is forgotten during execution. This way, you don't omit anything that might end up compromising your results. Additionally, they ensure activities are completed in orderly, organized fashion. All right, I need another volunteer who can help me to read this one. Mr. Membreño, stop watching Caso Cerrado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so any other volunteer? Hello, hello. What do you need to give? Reading. Reading, okay. What is what is checking list used for? Mm -hmm. Checklist how to object the uh, of a version tax or project project and ensuring nothing of import important is forget during ex ex exec como, execution como execution. execution execution correct this way you don't omit anything that me me and up compromising your results compromising your results compromising your results mm -hmm. additionally the ensure activities are complete in orderly organized fashion mm -hmm. all right excellent thank you very much on this one now let's just review the vocabulary here so this one right here what is overseeing what is it my friends mm -hmm. What is overseeing? Hmm? No problem. I can help you with that one. Like this one, supervise. All right. That's how you Como supervisar. Supervise, exactly. All right. So then we have another one right here. All right. So uh, ensuring. What is it? Yep. Is the same that to make sure or not? It is. Actually, it is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Thank you. Okay. So let's just continue with this one right here. And let's see what's this one. Um, what is it? Right, omit my compromising results. Ah, orderly. And then organized fashion. It's an expression. What is orderly first? Orderly. Hmm? Okay. 
Pedro nuevamente. All right. Yes. All right. So, and then organize well. Or the definition in English, which is going to be neatly, methodically arranged. Like that one. Exactly. All right. So I'm sending all this information to the chat so you can see it and copy and save it, of course, right? And the last uh, expression there, which is organized fashion. Hmm? What is organized fashion? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is organized fashion? Do you know it? Moda organizada. Okay, that's actually Organiza what the translator... That, that's actually <laughs> what, uh, um, you know, if you go to the Google Translator, it says eso, right? Una moda organizada. But what is it? Okay, I let me know. give you a definition in English so you can say it, all right? So that will be, uh, it is done in a well-organized and controlled way, all right? So, um, how can I say this one? It's como un idiom, all right? This one, all right? So an expression in English that we can use to refer that something is muy organizado, de una manera, like, really perfect, all right? Understand? Yes? Yes. yes okay, true. great. Excellent. So that's actually what it means. Uh, questions about vocabulary? No questions? No questions. No questions. All right. Excellent. So, well, let's continue with the next one. Let me clean the screen here. Excellent. So now, what are some benefits of a checklist? Excuse me, what are some benefits of checklists for businesses? All right, so that's actually what this is about, right? And it says right here that checklists in business are essential for maintaining control of processes. A few more benefits of checklists are that, key, that they help keep things organized since they provide you with the details of the steps in a process. Help with employees' motivation because when a person finishes each item, their brain considers it small achievement, releasing dopamine and providing a feel of satisfaction, right? It says encourage task delegation because they provide confidence both for those delegating as well as those delegated. Also, it says here improve productivity because when you follow a list, you can optimize the time spent on each task, uh, letting more get done, right? Foster creativity, because when team members don't have to remember important steps to carry out a procedure, they can set their minds free to work on tasks that they require, creativity thinking, all right? Creative thinking, I'm sorry. Contribute to fewer errors, because having everything listed out makes it much harder to make mistakes. That's actually what it says. Now, I need you to please help me reading this one. So I need someone who can help me from here to here, and then another person who can help me to read this one right here. Who's going to be my volunteer, number one? Uh -huh. Volunteer number one? Yes. Volunteer number one? I will try, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Please go ahead. What are some benefits of checklists for businesses? Hmm. Checklists in businesses are essential for maintaining control of processes. A few more benefits of checklists are that they help keep things organized since they provide you with the details of the steps in a process. Help with employees' motivation because when a person finishes each item, their brain considers it a small achievement, achievement yes. releasing uh, the dopamine. Uh, dopamine. Uh -huh. Okay, dopamine and providing a feeling of satisfaction. Satisfaction. Uh -huh. 
encourage task delegation because they provide confidence both for those delegating as well as those delegated. Thank you very much, my friend. I truly appreciate it, right? So I can see Edwin now who wants to be the volunteer. Please go ahead, Edwin. Okay. To provide productivity. Because when you follow a list, you can optimize mm -hmm. the optimize. time spent. Optimize mm -hmm. the time spent one edge text letting more get done mm -hmm. foster for every creativity mm -hmm. because when team members do not have to remember important steps to carry out a uh, produce they can set their means free to work on tasks that require requires Wire, mm -hmm. creativity, thinking, mm -hmm. creative, um, creative thinking, creative thinking. Correct. Contribute to fewer errors. Fewer. Without contribute. Fewer. To fewer errors. Yes. Because heavy unit. Everything listed how makes in in that much harder to make mistakes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now it's time for me to ask you, right? Uh, do you have questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, anything like that? Yes. Vocabulary, pronunciation, meaning. En, encor, encourage. Encourage. All right. So, well, that means motivate. All right. This one, right? Yes, teacher. It's like motivate. You know motivate? Yep. Okay. Okay, great, great, great. Excellent. So, any other word? Foster. Mm, foster, foster. Oh, what it says, foster creativity, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, the word foster has um, the meaning close to, like, also motivate. All right, so it's a synonym of encourage or promote, right? Encourage or promote. So like synonyms, you know? Okay. E contribute, contribute to fewer. Fewer is el eh, comparativo de menor, right? O sea, menos errores. Okay, thank you. All right, so fewer errors. All right, so like that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you don't have questions, let's just continue with this one. Let me clean the screen and let's continue here. Okay, excellent. So we have checked what is a checklist and how do we use it or what do we use it for? And now we are going to continue with uh, the last part here, which is how can you create a checklist, all right? It says right here, uh, to help create a checklist that gives a result you want, try the steps below. Number one, define what is to be checked before you begin, all right? Number two, determine how often and at what times the list will be used. Number three, create the stages where the checklist will be applied. Number four, specify the people responsible for checking each task. Number five, do a test run to see whether anything is missing or 
could be improved, all right? So, my friends, I need, again, two volunteers. Volunteers right now for this one. Excuse me there. All right. This section. And Nuria, thank you. And another volunteer for the second section, which is going to be this one right here. All right. Nuria, you start. Go ahead. Okay. To thank help you. create a checklist that, that gives the result to one, try the steps below. Define what it's to be checked before to begin. Uh, determine how often and at what times the list will be used. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much on this one. Okay, ne Catherine, you're the next one, right? Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, create the stage where the checklist will be applied. Mm -hmm. Especially the people responsible for checking each test. Do right. a test to see whether anything is missing or will be improved. Improved. Repeat it. Improved. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. So you got this one right there. And now, let's see, everybody, do you have questions about the vocabulary? Vocabulary, vocabulary? Not sure. No? All right, thank you very much for that one. All right, so now, well, all right, so if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you, 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 and you. All right, so. Let's see, how many questions I have tonight for you? Simple, it's a comprehension test, all right? So um, this one, it's basically just to see if you guys can understand what you have been um, reading before, all right? So remember that this is also part of what we're doing here, right? So we go here and we check this one here, all right? So, um. Do you take screenshots of the previous slides, my friends? Yes or no? Hello? Yes, teacher. Do you have the screenshots from the previous slides? Yes? Mm, that's a no. No worries. I'm going to send it right now. So you can keep it there so you can use it for working on the next activity. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So, oh, what is it? Send in the new one right now. Okay. So we go on this one. That's the next one. Almost finished, my friends. I'm sharing the information there. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so thank you, All right? So I really like those activities because, yeah, you know, eh, leer les va a ayudar un montón a, um, to improve, of course, this one, um, your pronunciation, your intonation, and some other areas as well, right? So, and of course, understanding English, right? So remember that this is paso a paso. You guys are going to be working right now with this one first, so then you can work with uh, creating more, uh, well, I want more results there. So that's that, the last one. So that's about the questions here. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, 
So now you have exactly there the same, all the information it's right now in the group. So you can see it right there. So now we're going to work in this comprehension test, you know, answering all the questions based on the information you were reading. Easy, you just have to select the correct answer there, all right? So please, everybody, uh, make sure you uh, join the what's the breakout rooms right now, all right? So you can work on the same activity. Access right now, please. Okay, anybody missing here? Mm, Mr. Luna and Wilfredo, Edwin, sorry. No problem. And me neither, teacher. No problem, sending you right now to one room. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Ursula, are you still there? Letter A or letter C. Letter A. Questions? Questions? Cabinet or, or anything else? Anything else? No questions? No questions so far, teacher. Okay, no problem. I will be here just for a moment. If you have questions, just let me know, all right? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, Edwin says letter number one is letter A. Let me see. The purpose okay, of a checklist. Okay. And the answer later, what later he said, later A? Yes, it should. To provide detailed steps in process. So let's see. 
Mm -mm -mm. My armor, my friend. That's not the correct one. Uh, look, look for the Letter one. Letter D. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. You see the second slide in the what is a checklist used for? I remember the word overseen. Overseen, exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. So yes, that's correct. Okay, Larry. D. Uh, so the second one, guys. <clears throat> Which of the following is not mentioned as a benefit of using checklists in businesses? Keeping things organized. Uh, letter B, motivating employees. Letter C, uh, reducing, redu reducing Reduce, error. Reducing. reducing. <laughs> Sorry, reducing error. And letter D, increasing creativity. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Letter mm. B. Motivating employees. Mm, yes. 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 For okay. me, it's letter B too. Correct. Okay. Uh, who can read the number three? Here. Okay. How can Charlie contribute to improve productivity? Letter A, by optimizing the time spent on a task. By reducing errors made by employees, errors, errors, mm -hmm. but made by employees. There is it by fostering creativity in the team's members. There be by improving the delegation process. Mm -hmm. Ooh, who can check this? Mm, the improved productivity. Uh, by reducing errors made by the by employees, maybe. Or what do you think? Uh, or the letter A, letter A or letter B. How how can? What do you think? Letter B. By reducing errors made by employees. Yes, it could be. Yes. Uh, at work, they use it uh, for this kind of task in order to to reduce to to reduce errors i think it's letter b hey teacher are you there uh, yes i'm here uh, is the correct one because at work they use it uh, at this way all right so let's just read the um, keywords there it says like how can checklists contribute to improve productivity Productivity, it's the word, the keyword there. So um, when you go on this one right here. Letter B. Uh -huh. So it says here, you follow a list. You can optimize the time spent on each task, letting more get done. Um, no. It's, uh, letter B. Optimize. No, it's a letter A. Letter correct. A. Correct, yes, correct, letter correct, correct, correct. Okay, letter A. So, so letter A. Correct. Okay. okay, the number four. According to the text, how do you check with helping, help with employees' motivation? According to the text, how do you check this help with employees' motivation? Letter A, they provide confidence, confidence. for those. Confidence. Letter no. R. Confidence. Confidence. Okay. They provide confidence for those delegating tasks. They enable employees to optimize their time 
they create they create a feeling of achievement upon completing is them. They encourage creative thinking in team members. According to how do you check this? How do you check this motivation? Mm -hmm. Personal things you can be very motivation. They, they brain considers in a, a small accident relation the finding okay so guys i'm going to uh, visit other uh, other breakup rooms so in case that um they need help so i can help them all right okay thank you teacher you're welcome uh, in that case i think it can be letter z or letter d as dos delegate. Ajá, entonces esa es la letra A. Number five. The number four, letter A. Four. The question four. Yes. No. No. And, and number five. Six. Number four is, is C. That is correct, Jill. Yes. yes. They create a feeling yes. of achievement yes. upon completing it. Because yes. it says foster creativity. Right? Uh, no, sorry. That would then produce motivation. Because when a person finishes each item, their brain considers it a small achievement, it's releasing dopamine and providing a feeling of satisfaction. Um, I I think uh, uh, a they provide confidence for those delegating tasks. Mm -hmm. No, it's letter C. He says they create a feeling of achievement upon completing each item. Read, read the slide in Nuria. It's the second slide, final round, the no, the third one. What it says, what are some benefits of checklists for businesses? And it's the second point. Help with employees motivation. Did you find it? Yes. Okay, so that's the, that's the reason why it's letter, uh, what do we say? Letter C, as in Charlie. Number five. Continue. What, okay. what are the, the steps what, in, what in involved in creating uh, effective checklist? Uh, letter A. Yes. In letter A, define the demand, create a specific, a specific and test. Mm -hmm. A. Yes. Okay. Number six. What is Why it think? important to do a test around when creating a checklist? Why is it Feeling a checklist. Identify any meeting or necessary improvements. 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 Yes. 
Error sí. Nuria, Nuria, eh. hola, ¿está de acuerdo? Sí, sí, yes. Do you agree? <laughs> yes, I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number seven. What does the Pokemon release in the brain? Significant, significant according to yes. according to the test. Those to find to find release in the brain. Mm. Hola. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay, so is letter A, a feeling of satisfaction, satisfaction. Um, letter A. Okay, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay. Yes, let it A. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, hello. Miguel Angel, Daniel, Reina, you finished? Um, solo he respondido una, dos, tres, cuatro, porque ahí las otras las he estado analizando. No, no. Ajá, uh -huh. and what happens? Okay. Do you have questions? I can help you with that right now. Tell me, what's the question you have? Uh, las últimas tres. The last three, okay. Why, why it, it is important to do a dance, a text boom when creating a checklist. Okay, very good. So let's just continue on this one right here. Um, this is in the is in this slide. Let me just share it. I'm going to share my screen right now so you can see it, okay? Okay? Yes, Perfect. No. Number five, my friend. Number five. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the answer?
Mm -hmm. It says here, do a test run to see whether anything is missing or could be improved. And then if you go to the questions, it says right here, to identify any missing or necessary improvements. So what's the answer, my friend? <laughs> okay. Give me a word. Okay. All right. So what about number seven? What's the question you have with number seven? Tell me so I can help you. What does the fine man? Dopamine. Dopamine release in the brain significant according to the text. What, what does it mean, dopamine? Dopamine. Dopamine. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. Okay. So you're missing only one, right? Hello, hello. Oh. Uh -huh. What happens with the last one? Number seven. Number seven, ya le dijimos, ahí está la respuesta. Number la seis. La ah, seis. Uh -huh. Number seven. Ahí está la respuesta, right? That's the answer right there. A feeling, a feeling of satisfaction. Satisfaction, exactly. In the number eight, way, way, way to checklist contribute for fewer error and fewer error. Fewer es como menos errores, ¿verdad? Fewer menos errores, correct. Eso sí no sé cuál es. 
<laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to show you right now. It says here, it says, in what ways to check this contribute to fewer errors? All right. So, and then we need to go back to the previous slide. Contribute to fewer errors because having everything listed out make it more harder to make mistakes, all right? And it says right there. Sí, eso estoy viendo, pero no sé. No le hay ahí, contexto. You know, aquí, aquí te voy a dar la respuesta ahorita fácil. Recuerden, chicos, cuando estamos leyendo, para, obviamente, since you are learning, no van a encontrar, este, no van a entender like, el 100% de las palabras. Pero ustedes tienen que aprender a eh, buscar palabras claves. You know? Ya tenemos fewer errors. Ahora veamos acá. Vamos a fewer errors. Y encontramos fewer errors. Mm -hmm. It says here, because having everything listed out, makes it much harder to make mistakes. Listed out. ¿Cuál de todas estas List lleva listed out. out? La primera. Ahí está la respuesta, my friend. That's it, that's <laughs> the answer. Entonces ahí dice, se asegura que todos los eh, pasos importantes estén en listados. That's it. All right. You have it? Yeah. Excellent. So questions, people? No, thank you. Excellent. You're very welcome. So we are going to go back right now to the main session para que podamos revisar las respuestas and confirm with other classmates, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, everybody else. We're just waiting for the rest to come back. Right. Okay, everybody, welcome back from the breakout rooms. Now we are going to continue with this, all right? So to share uh, the answers, right? So let's see. Let's just continue with this one right here, all right? So what is going to be, there you go, excellent. So what is going to be the number one? Number one, number one, I need a volunteer who can help me to read the question and read the correct answer. Who's going to be my volunteer for number one? Mm -hmm. Yes, volunteer for number one. Hello, hello. Me, teacher. All right, Mr. Flores, go ahead. What is the purpose of a checklist? Mm -hmm. There is to provide the timely step in the process. Yes, All right. And, so, and for me, it is two of the cases. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So, uh, Nuria, right now, uh, Mr. Flores is helping me with the number one. If you don't mind, you can help me with number two. Okay.
All right. For me, for me is letter D. Can you read the answer? To oversee tasks and ensure nothing is forgotten. All right. To oversee tasks and ensure nothing is forgotten. So let's review. Mm. Yes, right. Checklists have the objective of overseeing tasks or projects ensure nothing important is forgotten during execution. Good job, my friend. You did it good. Or do you have a different answer, people? No, right? It's the word oversee, the keyword right there. So I was telling other classmates, right? And see otros compañeros que eh, when we're reading here, we need to actually take care of the keywords. Palabras clave para que we can understand and associate, all right? Thank you, Mr. Flores. Now, Nuria, you can help me with number two now. Okay, teacher. Uh, which of the following is not mentioned as a benefit of using checklists in businesses? Is B uh, increasing creativity? Increasing creativity. All right. So, yes, people, is that correct? Increasing creativity? Do you agree or disagree? Hello? Yes. Yay, 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 yes. All right. Thank you. What about number three? Who can help me with number three? Mm -hmm. Number three, number three. How can checklists contribute to improve productivity? There you go. Uh -huh. And what's the answer? The answer is letter A by optimizing the time spent on each task. Yes or no, people? Yes. Yes, correct, excellent. Thank you, Ursula, for that one. Number four, what's number four? According to the text, how do the checklist help with employees' motivation? Motivation. Motivation. Uh-huh, tell me. Later, see. Later, see. Can you read it? We create a feeling of achievement upon completing each item. Each item. All right. So, achievement. Later, see. This one. Oops. I'm sorry. All right. So, what about this one right here? Agree or disagree? I agree. You agree on that one. Thank you very much. All right. What about number five? And then I volunteer for number five. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you, Jill. Go ahead. Okay. What are the steps involved in creating an effective checklist? Is number A. Define, determine, create a specific and test. All right. So this one, determine, apply, implement, delegate, and test. Is that the one you said? A. Oh, A. 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 I'm sorry. It's going to be the letter A. Yes. Yes or no, people? Yes. Thank you. All right. So another volunteer for number six. We almost finished. What's number six here? Why is it important to do a uh, let's room when creating a creating. list? Creating. 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 Good job. Uh huh. Letter C. Can you read it? Letter C. To identify. Identify. 
identify mm -hmm. any missing or unnecessary improvements. 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 Improvement. Good job. I like that. All right. Thank you. What about number seven? Adapt the finding. Release in the brain significant according to the text. Uh -huh. Letter A, a feeling to a satisfaction. A feeling of satisfaction. Thank you, Daniel. That's correct, people. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Thank yes, you. Teacher. All right. So, and then the last one, what is it? Volunteer, please, for the last one. In what way do in what way the checklist contribute to fewer error? errors? Errors. Yes. The letter A. We ensuring all important important steps are listening out. Hmm. That's correct. Excellent. So that's the keyword right here, listed out. All right. And it stops. Thank you very much, everybody. So we are going to uh, finish right here uh, with this activity because it's the last one right here. So I can share this one. One second. There you go. Okay. I'm sending the answers right now to the group. All right. One quick second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so thank you very much for participating in the activities tonight. Uh, I want to say uh, you did a very good job, right? The uh, poquito a poco vamos mejorando con la lectura, like comprehending, very good, and so on. Do anuncios before you go, <clears throat> before you go to sleep, all right, before you leave. Eh, ya está habilitado, recuerden que hoy terminamos la segunda semana de clases, so we finished the second week of classes, well, like the unit, the second unit, sorry, the unit number two. So, eh, no solamente hay que completar las actividades de la unidad dos, sino también el midterm test, ¿ok? Para que ustedes lo puedan ahí empezar a hacer. All right, so remember, todos esos reportes eh, se tienen que enviar junto a su asistencia, right? Así que, por favor, si usted no lo ha hecho o se ha sacado una nota no tan buena, you can do it again, all right? So, puede regresar, revisarlo, try to do it again para que no les quede tan bajo esa nota, right? Eh, tomorrow, during the day, during the morning, actually, voy a estar disponible in case you want to... If you want to do it at that time, so you have questions, you can let me know, all right? Eso es uno. Y lo otro, para la clase de mañana, va a tener una pequeña tarea. Relax, people. Don't complain. It's a fácil, fácil, fácil. Vamos a trabajar con una checklist. We're going to work with the checklist. Pero de sus trabajos. Piensen en una checklist que hay que hacer en su trabajo de algo que tienen que presentar. Un reporte que tiene que llevar. Qué steps tiene que llevar ese reporte que tenga eh, todo lo necesario un producto que ustedes hagan, un servicio que ustedes presten, etc. ¿Cuáles son los pasos que tendría que ustedes chequear en una eh, checklist, para la redundancia? All right. Eh, y mañana vamos to, uh, to talk about this one, así que piensen eso. All right. So, questions about that? No questions. No, no questions. questions. All right. Excellent. Entonces, if that's the case, I will see you tomorrow and have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Good Take night. Care. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow on time. Thank you.